Welcome back. We are on our way out of the mechanical age. Um, and I need to switch the water somewhere. I think it's just this one. Yeah, it's going here. Then it's going over there. Over there. And I need to switch this one. Which will take it to the pipe over there. I'm happy that my fears of this being difficult to teleport um, were unfounded. I guess if I hadn't done that yet, we could have seen uh, the water come out. I think you can see that in Real Mist too. But I did, so we can't. Now I gotta go the long way around. Um, is it over here? I guess it is. I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, uh, we do need to go left here. Just from the sounds and the look of this place, I feel like it would be really humid. Which I can tell you I would not enjoy. Fortunately, we are not to the point that VR can simulate that. Especially with the places where you're like close to lava. All right, we've got um, power. I think that's the call the elevator if it's not here, which would happen if you've already gone back. Um, and then need to come back here if you didn't get the pages, for example. missed linking book. So interesting how all of the linking books link back to the library, whereas the one you find originally links to the dock. Wonder if that's original, if that's intentional. These are also much smaller, which again... Um, I mean, I really don't think Atrus would have given us the... the would have dropped the descriptive book for the age where he lived into a hole. Where, that he doesn't know where it went. Because that would be a terrible idea. Maybe it was just an older linking book and he just used whatever book he had and it happened to be a big one. Because I know um, Atris and Gen used the uh, books they found in Dunny originally rather than making their own. All right, let's check the final message from the brothers. Is that randomized? It almost can't have been, especially with the original audio. Well, we'll see what happens. With each page I can see more clearly, soon. You must visit the one remaining eight. You have not confidence that that my brother Akhenar is demented. Oh wait, what am I doing? I actually did not put the page in. 
I'm like this sounds familiar. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sirius. I trust that from your explorations you've become convinced that my wicked brother, Akinar, is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here, imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island, but I assume you must have at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room, on this island named Mist, that he housed most of these books. But such a waste. By now, you have surely discovered that Akinar has burnt and mutilated most of these books. Why? Our father was always watchful of our exploration. We grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mystic books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Supervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the missed ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. His thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity. He had completely destroyed all of the missed ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akinar's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, our father embarked on one final journey. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim trapped forever. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page and I will be forever free. There is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Find it. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158 and recreate it from the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me, and I will finally be released and able to reward you. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. It chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another warning. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also would be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same warning long ago. I suggest you follow his advice. Go now. Soon the moon will be face to face. Well, uh, Sirius is half right. I have concluded that his brother is guilty. But I've also concluded that he's guilty, so... That's the half that he's wrong about. Other than that, we know that his story is mostly... Nonsense. <laughs> because, uh... You know, we know what uh, actually happened. Here he tells us that um, he ratted out Akinar to uh, his, to Atris, and then Atris imprisoned him in a fit, fit of rage and went on a final trip to find the truth of who uh, was guilty. 
Whereas in reality, we know that um, actually, Ceres and Akinar lured Atris to um, Kavir and then managed to get themselves trapped in these books. They were not actually imprisoned by Atris at all. All right, let's hear Akinar's side of the story. Hello, I'm Akinar. I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. He was serious who did this to me, serious, my wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you, I warn you, he's a liar. Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. Do not release him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> it began when my brother Cyrus began to lust for riches. He stole from the ages of mist. He hoarded riches for himself. My father. My father slept away his watchfulness. <laughs> My sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. <laughs> king of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother! He did him! <laughs> and then Cyrus began to destroy the ages of mist. <laughs> he burned their forest. <laughs> he tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants completely destroyed all but four of the ages of course I had a woman father and I finally found him there was Cyrus also talking cleverly <laughs> the lying tongue of a serpent he had convinced father that it was I who destroyed the ages he convinced father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder and Cyrus dealt the final blow. He tricked the father into believing that I was the murderer. But Cyrus did not deal as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar and deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other bird books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. It's a clever trap to imprison those have not been warned. <laughs> Do not be tempted, for you will rot and die, prison desire. <laughs> I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. All right. Um... His story is slightly different, although he still claims that uh, Atris was the one who imprisoned them. But he says that Atris was killed rather than just went on a trip. Um, Alright, it is pattern 158, which I'm pretty sure is the original pattern. I'm assuming... Oh, well that's helpful. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is going to be like very painful having to uh, browse for this book 
very slowly. The pattern is clearly different than the original. wonder if the original pattern still uh, does something. Um, but at least we don't have to turn 158 pages manually, so that's nice. That doesn't mean you could still finish this game fairly quickly, even in randomized mode, because all you have to figure out is which um, marker switch to open last, or which marker switch to turn off to open the vault, and go to page 158. I guess going to page 158 isn't that fast, though, if you haven't listened to this yet. Although... I don't know what it's like if you're not in VR. If you're not playing randomized mode, obviously you would know the pattern, so you don't have to uh, open this book at all. All right, I'm going to try and take a picture of this. Um, although it just occurred to me that this is the um, Dunny number three? Is that three? No, three, I mean, I can't really... No, three is like that. So that makes this two. Because four is the, the box. So this is Dunny number two. So that should make it easy to remember. <laughs> Are there any other Dunny numbers in there? Mostly they just seem random. Or did, do you really just get a random pattern and I happen to get one that looked like a Dunny number? That seems really unlikely. Or are they all? Are you always getting a Dunny number in the random ones? I don't see any other Dunny numbers. Eh. If I drop the book and pick it back up, presumably it will be back on the right page. Come on, teleport back. There you go. Yeah. So, Dunny number two. <laughs> Interesting. That should make it easier to remember. Let's see if I can do that. Um, the book on the first page actually shows you how to get into the fireplace, which is now much harder to get to. So, if you haven't looked at it at all yet, good luck. Uh, fortunately, it's not even that hard to discover by accident. This opens much further, again, to avoid having you crouch in VR, which they could have done, honestly, but did not. Alright, so this part is easy, because it's just the box. And then it's that. Oh, and let's not forget that one. Um, do I just push the button then? I think so. This is right, right, right. Firecracker achievement. Is that just for doing this in general, or is it for um, doing it in randomized in one attempt? I don't know. Um... Instead of the whole fireplace rotating, it just opens up behind us. Can you actually see that happening? Not anymore. Maybe on the way back in we can. Because we'll have to come back this way, obviously. Um, I'm assuming I can just take these pages and it would be safe to do so unless I actually open the book. But let's first talk to Atris. Or have him talk to us. Original video, yay. Who the devil are you? <sighs> Don't come here to Dunny, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. Oh, my library it contains my works, my writings. I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap 
over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. My sons, Cyrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. Perhaps. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. And also to donuts, of course. Um. Wait, no, that's the wrong button. I didn't want to do that. Uh, what I want to do is save. Because I want to see the bad endings, and since YouTube won't let me do annotations anymore, I'm just going to do it in order. So let's first go through without the missed page. I think this was the video from Real Mist, because I know they re-recorded it for Real Mist in higher quality. Um, and this didn't look like the original, I don't think, but I could be wrong. It's Kavir! And there's... Atris. Ah, my friend, you returned. We meet face to face. And the page, did you bring the page? You didn't bring the page. You didn't bring the page. What kind of fool are you? <sighs> did you not take my warning seriously? Welcome to Dunny. You and I will live here forever. Well, considering there's no food here, forever isn't going to be that long. I knew this was going to be an achievement. Um, oh, and we do get the credits. I am... I am doubting these are showing up because this is the menu interface. Um, either way, I'm going to... Um, oh, there's actually no continue. I cannot. Um, I'm trying to load the save. Um, I cannot actually explore Kavir. Little does Atris know that if we could just get out of that room in Kavir, um, I could just walk. <laughs> Alright, let's bring a red and a blue page. And let's try those endings out. Unfortunately, you can't get video for the... Do I have to undo that? Yes, yes I do. And that shuts. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, unfortunately, there's not the original video for Atrus there, which makes sense, so he still looks pretty terrible. It's also kind of weird he doesn't look at you, even though there's a spot in front of the desk where like, there's where the teleport locks to. You can kind of see that so certain spots are lock spots, typically in front of a puzzle or a thing you can interact with. And there's one in front of the desk, but it's not where Atrus is looking, which is um, a bit weird. All right, let's free Cirrus. After all of that effort. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm free. Oh. oh, thank you, my friend. My dear friend. You've done the right thing. You stupid fool. <laughs> it looks like perhaps you're in the book now. Linking to the menu, apparently, in this case. Um, after I finish the game for real, I will probably show the credits, but not in VR mode. So I don't have to sit here and look at them. Okay, so that was not the um, new video either, but it made sense considering just how big that was, and it was actually 3D. Like, there was depth to the image but and the library behind him so that obviously couldn't have been done with the original video no attempt to make that look like um to make um oh i'm in the f oh no yeah, they put me out here all right that's good uh, no attempt to make that look like um Spire or anything, but I guess that wouldn't have really... Okay, that just went a long way. Uh, that wouldn't have really fit with the... with the story of this game, I guess. Alright, let's do the same with Akinar. Another achievement for that. Please. <laughs> 
Someone will rescue you someday! <laughs> You know, I think they use the same uh, place as where you find the mist book in the beginning, at least for the floor. Just put the distortion from the books around it. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the right thing. And um, let's not touch that again. Interesting, now those pages are over there. Wonder if they'd, they'll still be there after uh, we deal with Atris. First, we've got to get the page, which um, is not at the dock, it's at the wood hut. Randomization of that puzzle. So, I'm guessing that this is actually going to open. Because it'd be weird if turning this one off would then open the one at the dock. Oh, was not expecting that. From, from this distance, this looks more like it's music, but it is Dunny writing. Um, I was expecting that to open, and then that happened. All right. I guess, again, to make sure you don't have to bend over below the floor. Um, away you go. Um... All right, let's go free Atris. And hopefully we'll get the look around in... Uh... Oh, fireplace closed again. Um, we'll get to look around in Kavir, because if not, I will be very upset. I'm pretty sure that I just chopped my knees off, um, because I'm still sitting down. The game also thought I was too close to that, though. Alright, I do have to redo this. That's nice and easy. Oh, I turned that one off again. Right, I want to see it open this time. All right, um, wait, I need to sit this way. Here we come. Oh, I forgot he had more to say. I guess at the very least I could look around before talking to Atrus. Where the face... Rinaref is gone. Rinaref is supposed to be in the floor here, and he's not here. That is very disappointing. I am not happy about that. It looks to be much more significant damage than there was um, in the original. Fortunately, this is providing light, as well as the uh, actual lights. So I'm guessing that's the exit that you would eventually end up using. Not so easy to get past that, I suppose. Um, okay, that's just very, very dark. Nothing else really of interest to see here. Kind of bummed about the floor. Oh, how, what I wouldn't give to see the Uru Mist 5 version of Kavir in VR. Oh, 
Ah, my friend, you've returned. And the page, did you bring the page? I did, in fact. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. And the way he goes. Can I walk around while he's gone? Yes, I can. I want to get behind his desk. I'll follow you. I can't. <laughs> Let's quick. Let's go to Riven. Can't do that either. Steal his pen. This game is a spoil sport. Ah. Hmm. It is done. I have many questions for you, my friend, but my writing cannot wait. I fear that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife, Catherine, is now being held hostage. Oh, and a reward. I'm sorry, but all I have to offer you is the library on the Island of Mist and the books that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope you find your exploration satisfying. You'll no longer have my sons to deal with. Oh, and one more thing. I'm fighting a foe much greater than my sons could ever imagine. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Until that point, I'm afraid you'll enjoy the explorations from my library on Mist. Thank you. The book. You can use the Mist linking book to return to Mist. And so we finish. I guess this does not take us to the credits because you still get to explore. I thought they might have uh, interrupted this with the with the credits and then returned you here or something, but no, they didn't. Still kind of disappointed in this room. It's. Well, if the floor had been the way it was supposed to be, I would have been happier, but at least we get to see how big it is. An oil lamp. Interesting. What are you writing there? Nothing at all. You're also writing the same line over and over. You don't need... Oh yeah, you do have ink. Okay, okay, alright. Head back to Mist. Oh, and now I get the achievement Dunny. Even though I left from there. And no, the pages are gone too. I guess he burnt both the pages and the book. So the brothers have been taken care of, although, as we know, nothing actually happened to them. <laughs> It's just the book that was burned, and uh, Aetris still has other linking books to those ages, because um, he'll use them again later. Why keep additional linking books to ages that you were only intended to, intending to use as prisons? I don't know. Well, presumably he would still have the, the descriptive book somewhere, because you can't destroy that because the linking book would stop working. So with that, he could visit and then create a new linking book if he so desired, which is probably what we end up using in Mist 4. Anyway. That is it. That's all there is to discover for now. 
Until they add rhyme, anyway, at which point I'll probably do another video to show that. Basically, after all of that, there's only one conclusion. If you have a VR headset, you should buy this game. I really don't have much else to say. Yes, there are some things I can nitpick about the graphics, and some of the gameplay changes made to accommodate VR may not have been the best option, but it's completely overshadowed by the awe-inspiring experience of being able to visit Mist Island and the Aegis in a completely new way. If you've never played VR before, you might not get it. You might think that it's a gimmick. Well, it's not. The sense of immersion and realness you get is like nothing else. It transforms the game into a totally new experience. If you don't have VR, it's maybe not such a simple recommendation. If you're new to Mist, by all means get this version. But if you already own the original or real Mist, it'll be up to you to decide whether the new version is worth it without the draw of VR. It does have a few unfortunate drawbacks over real Mist. Mainly it's a shame we lost the day-night cycles and dynamic weather. I would like those to be added back more than Rhyme, but there's probably some technical challenges that make that unlikely. For VR, there are some small changes I would like them to make, some quality of life things. The ability to seamlessly switch to screen mode without restarting the game like Abduction had would be awesome, as would some in-game ability to take notes other than just taking pictures. Anyway, I hoped you enjoyed watching me play in VR. I know it was kind of rough with the head motion and audio quality. I don't know if I'll do this again, but I hoped you liked it anyway. Thanks for watching! Thank you.